President Obama has announced a $100 million brain mapping project similar to the Human Genome Project, which should map out the human brain, could possibly lead to a cure for Alzheimer's, and as well as that, make jobs in the science industry. Bam. Yeah, well, okay, it's not called... Bam. Bam, that's a different project, the Brain Activity Map. This is oh. BRAIN, <laughs> which stands for, well, Wait. this is weird. The acronym for BRAIN starts with BRAIN. Brain Research Through Advancing Innovative Neurotechnologies. The BRAIN Initiative? The BRAIN Initiative. Did like somebody really like the Avengers movie and just like run with that idea? Everything's got to be an acronym. Yeah, the brain probably. initiative, the shield initiative, so Because I feel like know. the shield initiative was a bit of a stretch too. It was like strategic, homeland, intervention. They're all terrible. You know, but that's like there's three different versions of shield. You can't have brain in brain. You can't, that's not allowed for acronyms. Are you saying that brain can't stand for brain? No, we can't. Well, okay, maybe it's not the best acronym, but this project is, it's included in President Obama's upcoming budget proposal, and I think it's really great. Obviously, conservatives do have a problem with it. It's a hundred million dollars. You don't get results right away. We talked about this in the main show, or Anna did. I gave her the story, so we talked off camera. <laughs> it's one of those things that understanding the human brain is the, well, we don't understand all the synapses and everything that works, how a thought process is made. There's so much we don't understand about the human brain. So understanding it may be the first step to curing neurological diseases. And that's ex actually extremely important, even in this economic climate. I mean, I'm excited about this. Mm -hmm. Because to me, the, the diseases of the brain are the scariest ones. They're the least understood. I, you feel the most helpless by them. They're like, you get cancer, there's treatments for cancer. You die from cancer, you're still yourself you know, all the way up until the end. If you get Alzheimer's, if you have autism, if, you know, these, these diseases that change who you are, they change your personality, they change the concept of yourself, they're really scary. Like seeing a loved one not recognize your face, that's not know who you are, not know horrifying. who they are, that's tragic. And I'm glad that we're spending $100 million to try to figure that out, why that happens and to prevent it in the future. So this is extremely important. It is expensive. Um, so to create I, such a map, two hundred, three hundred million dollars. It's not okay. Let's go crazy Let's here, approve. man. We're already in debt. Science. Yeah, well, more science. We've talked about this before, like conservatives who are opposed to certain branches of not, you know, immediately understood results for of scientific research will say, oh, that's a waste of money, and we, who cares about these stupid scientists wasting our money? But it's not a waste. It, it leads to so much more. I mean, you don't understand your world by just locking yourself up into unilateral views. Understanding everything is the key to fixing everything. Science is the way of progress. Think about how, think about the hallmarks of the Dark Ages, and think about the hallmarks of the Renaissance. I mean, it's as simple as seeing how many diseases have been cured or treatments developed based on the human genome mapping project, mm -hmm. based on you know cancer research or lung research or whatever. They, all these things were a waste of time until they did something really. Until they were. Yeah. Until they, until they saved worked. lives and meant so much more innovation. And, and it's not like they only look. save the lives of liberals and their families. Yeah, it does. All these conservative people have benefited from the science and life-saving medical According to this, only technology. gay people are benefited, so you know. No, I'm joking. Don't comment about that. Um, so to create such a map, they're going to have to measure the activity of any one of the brain's tens of billions of neurons. They've already started to do that with, map we've talked about this before, mapping the zebrafish brain. Oh, yes, Seeing we did how, talk about this how before. Brain Visualizing how a thought works, or how how the neurons work when someone well the fish was registering food and it lit up. We're we're only beginning to see how this works, and I think it's very important that it's followed through for many of the reasons you've said. And I just thought of a few more. Well, the, use your brain and tell me. Yes, uh, I'm going to use my mouth too, and then you use your ears. This is like an awesome first step to mind powers telekinesis and telepathy, like understanding how thoughts, no, stay with me on this. Understanding how thoughts work and how mm -hmm. the brain works and understanding all the different, you know, synapses and neurons of Are the brain. Are you referring to that video game that can seemingly read thoughts and transfer them into actions in uh, the game? Uh, no, it's I'm controller. referring to real life. Oh, like it's super a thing. Like super real life things. Okay, fine, fine. No, yeah, sure, yeah. Um, <laughs> even if it takes, you know, a big hat and a silly video game for me to control stuff with my mind, mm -hmm. awesome. Let's do more of that. Let's, all right. let's work our way to superpowers. And if we cure all diseases on the way, awesome. I think diseases are the first step, though that's still 
not again, not an immediate step, not immediate results, but understanding is the key to it. And I Knowledge hope this passes. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Now he's trapped in a book I wrote, a crummy world of plot holes and spelling errors. The big brain am winning again. I am the greatest. Now I am leaving Earth for no reason. <laughs>